Hey guys, in this video we are going to be solving systems of equations using elimination method. However, the systems are not going to be set up like they were in our previous video where you could just combine them. This time we're going to have to do some multiplication to create the situation where there is the same coefficient with opposite signs on like variables. So we're going to start with the first step, which is still to stack the equations with x's and y's equal signs and constants all aligned. But then we need to look for the same coefficient with opposite signs. Um, and it looks like, for example, here on our x, we have the same coefficient, but we need opposite signs. So we're going to look at this red part, which says to multiply the one of the equations to get the same coefficient with opposite signs on the like variables. So what would I need to multiply my second equation by? And you could multiply the first or the second equation. I'm going to multiply the second equation. We would need to make this 3x a negative 3x. So to do that, I would use multiply by negative 1. So my top equation is not going to change. 3x plus 6y equals 3. The second equation will become negative 3x minus 3y equals negative 9. Notice I multiplied that negative 1, distributed it to every number, every term in the second equation. We have to make sure that the equation still stays um, balanced. All right, so we're ready to do our combination step. So our x's are going to, 3x's are going to cancel out. The 6y and negative 3y is going to give us 3y. And 3 and negative 9 gives us negative 6. Divide both sides by 3. We're going to get that y equals negative 2. All right, so we've got our y coordinate. We're going to go back and get the x coordinate the same way we did previously. We're just going to substitute into one of the two equations, negative 2 for y. So let's take a look. I'm going to use the first equation, 3x plus 6y equals 3. And I'm going to substitute negative 2 in for y. So that's going to look like 3x plus 6. And instead of y, we're going to sub in negative 2. Multiply 6 times negative 2. That's going to give us 3x minus 12, because 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, equals 3. Use inverse operations to isolate x. We're going to add 12 to both sides. And we get 3x equals 15. Divide both sides by 3. We are going to get x equals 5. So the solution to our system is x equals 5, y equals negative 2. So our solution is 5, negative 2. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, we need to think about which variable would be easy, easiest to eliminate. Um, I've highlighted the negative 1y, so we need to make that negative 1y a positive 3 to cancel with this negative 3. So we're going to multiply the entire equation by negative 3, because negative 3 times negative 1 would give us positive 3. So the first equation is not going to change. It's going to stay for x minus 3y equals negative 1. And then we're going to distribute this negative 3, which is going to give us negative 9x, negative 3 times negative 1, y is plus 3y, and then negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. Okay, we're ready to combine the two equations. We, 4x and negative 9x is negative 5x. My y's cancel, which is what we wanted, and 6 and negative 1 would give us 5. We're going to divide both sides by negative 5 to isolate x. And we are going to get that x equals negative 1. All right, we need to get our value for y. So I'm going to substitute into my top equation here, the 4x equation, to get y. 4x minus 3y equals negative 1. And we are going to substitute negative 1 in 4x here. So that is going to give us... <clears throat> 4 times negative 1 minus 3y equals negative 1. Multiply 4 times negative 1, we get negative 4 minus 3y equals negative 1. Inverse operations to isolate y, so we're going to add 4 to both sides. And we are going to get negative 3y equals negative 1 plus 4 is 3, and divide both sides by negative 3. So we are going to get y equals negative 1, because 3 divided by negative 3 is negative 1. So our solution to our system 
is x equals negative 1 and y equals negative 1. So that's going to be negative 1, negative 1. All right, one more example. Looking at our coefficients, we have a 2 and a 3. We would have to multiply both equations to adjust that one. So if I look at the top equation, I could multiply by negative 5. Distribute that negative 5. That would allow us to eliminate x. So we're going to do that. I get negative 5x minus 10y equals negative 5. Remember, distribute that negative 5 to every term in the equation. The second equation is not going to change. It is still 5x plus 3y equals negative 20. Three. We're ready to combine the two equations. X is cancel. Negative 10y and 3y is negative 7y. And negative 5 and negative 23 is negative 28. We're going to divide both sides by negative 7 to isolate y. We get y equals positive 4 because negative 28 divided by negative 7 is positive 4. Let's substitute. I'm going to substitute back into the first equation here. X plus 2y equals 1 x plus 2y equals 1 because, well, I just chose that equation. You could use either equation. y equals 4, so we're going to sub in a 4 right here for y. So x plus 2 times y is 4 equals 1. Multiply 2 times 4, you get x plus 8 equals 1. We are going to subtract 8 from both sides, and we get x equals 1 minus 8 is negative 7. So our solution is going to be x equals negative 7, y equals 4. So negative 7, 4 would be our solution to the system. I hope this was helpful. Do something kind for someone today. Make them smile.